From the sound of music to Peter Pan, The Wiz, Hairspray to the Emmy Award winning superstar. The sun will come out tomorrow. Thursday, the NBC Live Musical is back. With the perfect event for the holiday season. Merry Christmas, Annie. You two, leaping lizards. I am so excited to be chatting with you today. <laughs> I want to tell you guys both congratulations on this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know that you've stepped in last minute because of Jane coming down with COVID and you're a Broadway veteran. So stepping into, you know, this sort of uh, role under certain these types of circumstances isn't exactly new to you, but talk to me about how your Broadway experience has helped you fill these shoes last minute. Uh, first of all, I just want to acknowledge that I that the feelings coming into this are, are kind of conflicted because I truly, I can't imagine how Jane is feeling. Um, and so I just, I can only hope that I can do her proud while I'm trying to fill her fabulous shoes. Um, but uh, I, I'm also thrilled to be a part of this. And to answer your question, um, I think theatrical training just at its base, just uh, trains you to expect the unexpected and uh, that the show must go on. And you got to just um, do what you can to keep it going. And so I'm hopefully <laughs> here to help facilitate that. <laughs> Lena, <laughs> I would love to know that once you got the phone call that you booked this role, did you go back and watch all of the movies? Did you search on the internet for theater clips? You know, and if you did, how did doing this research help you find your own version of Annie? So I actually watched all the movies before I did the audition. <laughs> but, but I mean, what I took away from all of those movies was like, okay, so like, this is what she did here and this is how she said that. And like, I had to take all those little details because as an actor, you can't just, you can't play the part without doing the research because if you play the part without doing the research, you're not going to know how to play the part correctly. And so I'm, I'm still trying to na navigate my way through that because I I don't know anything about it. I'm 12, I'm like fresh out the womb, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what I do know was that, you know, like, you, ha you have to do really, research is really important because you have to know, you have to know, like, the character's base and, like, where she comes from and her origin, all of that stuff. So, I, yeah, I did watch the movies before I did the audition. Oh, wise, <laughs> wise words from a 12-year-old. I love that. <laughs> Megan, Lily St. Regis is a complicated woman. <laughs> about what your take on her is and what exactly makes her tick. She's a, she's a tough cookie and I think that she's the brains of the bunch like not the not the brains of the bunch but I think she's actually the most evil out of all of them. I think she out of out of the three of them she's the one that would actually like cause harm and like um, and, uh, and I mean, I won't go into her like backstory, but I, um, but she's someone that's had a, a probably had a, a rough life and has had to, um, uh, act rough accordingly. Well, Selena, I love like hearing, you know, hearing that, you know, uh, Harry Connick Jr. basically saying that you are going to re- define this role as we all know her what does that make you feel like how does that make you feel selena hearing you know harry connick jr speak about you this way i mean i feel honored but it it comes with a lot of pressure because you want to with with me like i i try to do everything in my power to make sure that i do this role correctly i don't mess something up or do something weird or i don't know any of that but i i am sincerely honored to to have those words come out of Harry Connick. <laughs> um, I just hope I can make everybody proud, you know, but I am really excited for that to see it. And, you know, it's it's just a huge blessing. And I'm like a thousand devil, like million times excited. <laughs> I don't know how much, how many times I can say excited again. 
You should be excited. This is an amazing opportunity for such a young actress. I mean, you are allowed to exude whatever you want and feel, girl, whatever you want. <laughs> I am a big fan of this, you know, of this character, this show, and I really am excited and looking forward to see what you, the both of you, this magic that you guys are going to bring for all of us to see on television. So congratulations. But you... Harry Connick Jr., Nicole Scherzinger. I assist. Titus Burgess. He's history. Megan Hilty with Selena Smith as Annie. <laughs> and Taraji P. Henson as Miss Hannigan. Christmas is canceled. <laughs> it's one night only. It's a hard knock life for us. Live. Thursday on NBC.